This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today we're going to talk about how long you should splint your finger if you hurt it. So it really depends on what you did with your finger. Um, sometimes people jam their finger, and if it's just a simple jam, meaning that you kind of had like this axial traction, axial force, but the joint didn't actually move at all, like a normal jam, then you probably don't even need to splint it at all. What you can end up doing is taping one finger to the other finger called buddy taping, where you put a piece of tape here and there, and that will keep the finger moving. Uh, the problem with fingers is if you leave them splinted too long, they get really stiff, and then you end up with a healed finger that's stiff, and that's not really good for anybody. Um, so if you jammed it and the joint didn't move at all, and it's in the right place, you probably get away with just buddy taping. Now things can get a little more complicated if you if you jammed your finger or hurt it and the joint actually pops out. A lot of times you'll know that the finger is dislocated. Sometimes it can be really subtle and it's not all the way out but a little bit out and that's what we call sublux. In that case you need x-rays to determine is this finger out or not. But assuming it's not, it just depends on how stable it is. If that finger pops in and out for a while, you're probably going to end up being in a splint for four to six weeks. If it is stable with movement, then your doc probably doesn't want to splint it, or if they do, only for two weeks, and then they'll end up buddy taping it. Um, if you broke your finger, you're kind of the same sort of thing. You're kind of walking a fine line between wanting to get the finger moving but and heal, but not too stiff. So if depending on how bad you broke it, um, depending on where you broke it, uh, if it doesn't need surgery, usually you're looking about six weeks splinting, and then not really much after that. Um, but again, the best way to tell if your finger is broken is if it's twisted and hurts and it's purple, you probably broke it, but an x-ray will be definitively. So just to kind of sum that up, if you just jammed it and there's no x-rays look totally normal and you can move it and it doesn't hurt too bad, then usually you just tape it to the other finger, keep the motion going. If you dislocated your finger real bad, it just depends on how stable it is after the dislocation. If it's pretty stable, then you can tape it. If not, you're splinting it for about four to six weeks. Or if you broke it, you're looking about six weeks or so sometimes four, depending on the age of the person and the break. So it's kind of confusing. Finger fractures can be really complicated. Um, best thing to do is if it's really looking really funny, then just to see a professional or hand surgeon about it to help you. Um, so I hope I was able to answer your questions about how long you need to splint your finger. If you have any questions I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond. If you like this video, we put out new content weekly, so please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.